Welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to create a lead generation ad. Um, I've already got the page that I'm going to share and, I, and I'm also going to use a privacy policy which you're going to need before creating your lead page generation um, Facebook ad. And so the other thing was your your free report or guide, whatever you're going to give them, needs to be placed on a website so they can go and download that. As you can see, I am on my personal Facebook page here and what we need to do is we need to make sure we've got a business page already set up before we can run our ad. We cannot run ads from our personal uh, profile account. If you don't have a business page, if you go up the top, if you go up the top to the right hand corner, there's a very small arrow and you'll be able to see that I have two pages here. Just underneath that, it'll say create page. Click on this and this is going to take you to the create page part of your Facebook business page. Just choose which one best suits your business for the moment. If you do have a local business, you can use this as it does um, place the address in there. If you don't have a location, then I would use the company organization. Um, if you've got a brand or product, when you drop down, you can see that there's lots of different categories within inside of these. So just go through them and choose which best suits your business. Once you've created your page, I want you to just make sure that you have a profile picture um, and a cover image don't worry too much as this is just a test about having any content but I would like you to have a profile picture either this be yourself if you've already got a current business that has a logo then that's great you can use that and your cover image I just would like you to have something simple that kind of reflects the topic that you are doing and you've obviously got your business name there as well so that's great the reason that we do need a profile picture is because when we're running ads this profile picture gets shown with our ad through the newsfeed so we do want it to look a little bit professional once we've got that set up then we can go to the top um, of our Facebook page to that arrow again we're going to drop down and we're going to go create adverts and for this instance, we're just going to use the ads manager. There is something that's called the power editor that has a lot more detail. This works very similar, um, but we're just going to run through this to start with. We've got three different categories. If you look over on the left hand uh, side of the page here, we've got campaign, advert set and advert. So basically you just look at it as three sections of the ad that we need to complete. Our objectives, we're going to choose lead generation. And then we just want to name that so we know what this lead generation ad is. Um, so you just name your campaign, whatever you would like to call it. I would leave, leave the lead generation in the front and then maybe just put um, your category or whatever you'd like to call it on the end. We're just going to go continue. Then it's going to give us a section to run our ad from. So we run our ad through our Facebook business page. I'm going to drop down and switch it to another page. And then when we come down to this section, this is where we choose our audience. So with everything we've researched on in our demographic and our audience, this is where we need to put that information. Whether you're choosing location Australia-wide or whether you're choosing just local, town, um, city, whatever it might be, then you need to put in the location here. So you would just, if you're targeting just Sydney, you could put Sydney in there. Uh, if you want to break it down into suburbs, you can. So if we were going to go to Parramatta, um, we can do Melbourne. Wherever the location is, this is where you put that. Okay, and then we come down to where we've got age. So what are the age that we want to target with this ad? Um, we'll say between 28 and 40. Okay, are they men or women? Or maybe they're both. 
Then we want to enter our language, which is English. Once we've entered our language, we're going to come down to the detailed targeting. This is where we place all our interests that we've uh, selected and we place them in here. We've also got the demographics and the breakdowns that Facebook provide us as well. So we can use some of these, but if you've chosen certain pages or certain people that have a large following that you want to target, then you just need to type them into the bar here. For instance, we're going to be targeting, um, say, CrossFit and gym owners. So I'm just going to go browse and we're going to go into demographics. And we can um, go back and do some research on these as well if we're not quite sure. So let's have a look at this. Let's go to industries. And is there anything that may fit for this? Maybe not in there, so we'll go interests and we'll go fitness and wellness so we can tick gyms. Now we have to remember to really narrow down on this because gyms, anyone could like that. I could like it because I like going to the gym. It's not necessarily going to be a gym owner um, that we're targeting here, so we do need to narrow down on that. Uh, let's type in here CrossFit. And as you can see, we've got interests, employers, and as we work our way down, you can see that the difference between these here. So CrossFit Gym Employers, we can choose them. Now, as you start to put in these detailed targeting, things are going to start popping up underneath here to see if that fits the interests that you want to target also. So you really do need to go and break this down. We could put, let's see if, if we type in here, gym owner. Um, so let's just scroll down. So small business, which is a behavior. So we've got digital activities, small business owners, people. So this is people who list themselves as a small business owner or own small business pages on Facebook. So we could choose that one. So we just keep adding in here. You kind of want to build a list out. Uh, sometimes I can have up to 40 and then other times you might narrow it down to um, maybe 20 or 15. Just depends on what you can find on here that that would fit in we could put CrossFit games and then we could also break this down to personal trainers and we can see here interests if we scroll down job titles personal trainer the other one okay so we've got the Australian Institute of personal trainers we also have Australia Fitness, Fitness First, Anytime Fitness, Fitness Australia, Australia Fitness Network, and then you can see this one also has schools and universities there. So basically, okay, job titles, personal trainer. Once you've built out this and you're happy with it, then we come down and I'll, just over on the right-hand side, you can see we've got this audience definition and we've got this little gauge here. The red, if your needle is in the red, it means that your audience is too specific. So you need to maybe broaden it a little bit and then in the green, that's obviously where we want our needle to sit. If it's in the yellow, then it means it's too broad. So yellow is probably like 5 million people, which will show down here at your potential reach. At the moment, we're at 1.6. So it's just about doing a little bit of trial and error 
and selecting with your audience here, but you want this potential reach to be around that 100,000. Um, the good idea is to go broad, and if you are just targeting, say, your location in a city or a town, then I'd go broad, get some feedback on that, and then you can go down smaller and target that area that you specifically want to target. Um, but try to aim for around that 100,000 mark. And I personally like to stick between that 1 to 2 million. Um, but again, it's up to you what you can find with your audience. We want to come down. We're going to leave connections out. And we're going to come down to placements. So this is where we choose our advert um, to be placed whether that's on our mobile news feed, our desktop news feed, on Facebook. There's a lot of different options here. So we're just going to edit placements. We're going to come down and as you can see, these two are already ineligible, so we can't run them on there. That's okay. We're going to drop down to Instagram. We're going to switch that off because we don't want to run ads to there at the moment. And then we are just going to check that we've got Facebook there. You can see it's automatically ticked. We actually only want to go mobile only and make sure that's ticked there. Untick that one again. So in the drop down, I just chose mobile only instead of mobile and desktop. You can either choose desktop um, or mobile only. So we're going to do mobile only. We're going to come down to our budget and schedule. And in here, we're just going to take out $20 and put $5. So this is our budget that our ad runs off per day, remember? So your ad won't, Facebook won't spend anything over this $5 per day. And as you can see underneath here, it says you'll spend no more than $35 per week. So that's your budget. You can also come in here, turn it off within two days time if you're not seeing, you're getting any emails or any response from it. Um, this is, you can come in and change any of this. Then we're going to move down and we're going to optimize our ad for leads. As you can see, there's two different options here, but we want to optimize it for leads. And you can rename this if you would like, if you've chosen a specific audience. Um, so you might put CrossFit or, or um, fitness owners. Okay, we're going to go continue. Now it's going to bring us to our formatting of ad, our ad. This is where we add our images or our video, depending on what content we want to use. <clears throat> so as we come down, we're going to choose a single image. And you can use... If you've got no images for the audience that you're targeting, then you can say, let, for instance, use a stock image in this case. If you don't have any, that's all right. So we can, um, we can use any of these images for free that stock images um, supply for us. So we can use these. Let's, for instance, we'll just choose a random one here. Once that's ticked, go done. If you select more than one, just be very careful because it will create another ad. So you see here it says one of six images. You just want to choose one. And if you do want to change it, then you just need to delete this one, go back in and grab another one. So we just want one. And it'll appear on the right-hand side here of what our ad currently looks like. And as we add more text to it, you'll be able to see how it appears over here. Okay. So we put in, um, if we go down, this is our lead form. So if we want to create a new form, and this is what it looks like here, we go new form. And we can edit what this is called. 
And then we've got content. So here we've got our welcome screen, which is optional if you would like to, but you can add your briefly describe what people receive. Okay, so this is required. We've got a limit of 60 characters. So we can put in here, and this may relate to what they're going to be downloading. So uh, get your free Facebook beginner's guide PDF, okay? And then we can come down. You might want to change this. I'm just doing this straight off the cuff. We've got use image from our advert or we can upload our own. Remember that it has to be 1200 by 623 pixels. Remember we can also use Canva if we want to go and design one, which is probably what I will go and do. Then we've got our paragraph. So enter the text here that tells people about your product or service. Um, this is also required. So, you know, it may be something along the lines of um, what we, the headlines that maybe you've come up with. Um, you need to put some, some text in there. We've also got some bullet points here. So you can use bullet points instead if you can't quite come up with something. So we might put, um, are you struggling to get new clients? Um, maybe you have no. Something along those lines. So you've got two choices there that you can choose from. Then we've got the button. So we can either have sign up now, we could have download now, and that will change over here. So while you're building this out, you're able to see what it looks like. Okay. Then we've also got some questions. So we've got, this is where we choose their email and name. You've got some others there as well, but we just are going to, you can just choose their email if that's what you would like. Um, or you can also put their full name there. We've got our privacy policy. So this is where our link, our website link that has our privacy policy on there needs to go. And this is what required. Okay. And then we can have a thank you screen. And this thank you screen is where we need to put our website link of what they're going to download to access. So we just basically copy and paste that across to there. So when a person's completed the form, we can then prompt them to visit our website. And that's basically how we just create our little ad. We go finish. We've got little ticks all down there that they approve of that. And basically, we're just going to, we can place that order and Facebook will go off and approve that. Um, they've changed this little layout a little bit, so it's a little bit different since um, I last did a lead generation form. So once you've placed the order, it'll take Facebook around can take them 20 minutes, it could take them 10 minutes to approve that. You will get a notification up here saying that your ad's been approved or not. Just remember that, you know, if you are creating an image, we need less than 20% text. We also need our privacy policy and we just need to be careful about the words that we're using within our ad. Um, I would re recommend that you go down here to the advertising guidelines and you can open these and have a read of them uh, just so that you can familiarize yourself with it, see if you know anything that sticks out there for you and your business and just make sure that you're not breaking any of their rules. One other thing is if you go to the top left hand corner where it currently said ad adverts manager you just want to select that and over under our tools we've got billing and payments if you go into there just go and set that up just so that if you've got a PayPal account or you're using a credit card for the business then place that 
those details in there and Facebook will withdraw the funds. Um, you can choose to withdraw them as soon as the ad's finished on a monthly basis, depending on how you want that to happen. They'll also email you an invoice of the ad that has been completed once it's done. And that's basically how we create our Facebook lead generation ad. Let me know if you have any questions, more than happy to help out with you there. Thank you for watching and joining me. Talk to you soon.